Hey guys, welcome to the Indigo League's highlights. Uh, there are a lot has happened this week. We've had four games occur going into, and, and those who go through go through to the semi finals. Those two will battle for a possession in the final, and the winner will win $80. Just been reading, uh, for those of you interested in Pokemon Go, they've just uh, announced that there's going to be an event where they've got four times candy for walking. Thank God. Like that's, I, that's, that's all I need now. I need to just walk. My avatar a little bit, but mainly my my reap, and then uh, hound out, and then I think I'm done. But yeah, that'd be cool. Fifty percent of pokeballs and more items ordered from poke stops and rock types will be found. So Omanite, Kabuto, and maybe even Aerodactyl. Don't really care about the rock types, you know. Psh, got them now. So, but I will probably be walking to that. Anyway, aside from that, let's get to the Indigo League. We have a lot has happened. We, at the start of this week, we had everybody was still in the tournament. We had Team Shiny, Team Choctopus, Team Team uh, Team Rico. We had Team Poker Fodder, and we had Team Badges. Everybody was in it, but times have changed. So first up, we had Gary Oak versus. We were on a break, or a break as he's now called. Uh, I mean, look at, look at Oaks. Look at Oaks. Uh, no, league score three four four nine. That's mad, and he clutched two nil matches. Uh, said they were one. They were really good battles. Second screenshot, he wins with a Verizon. Maybe with a swap spot. That would be annoying. I hate losing to Verizon. Swap spot is killer. So that meant that he went through. Now I've been pretty excited for this. I have not watched this because I want to watch it for the first time. Um, Jerry Picard has, has done another highlights video, which I'm excited about watching. So this was, um, he was against, I can't remember who he was, was it, was it Jemez or Estefani? Anyway, we'll find out. So he's done as a nice little highlights video. So here we go, Indigo League match three versus Estevani. Yes, yeah, so it was Estevani, Team Rico, I believe. So he's going for a three uniqueless deck. Uh, Mew, uh, is that Groval? Yeah, Groval with the, the potential of evolving to Sceptile, I imagine. And Moltres. We had both looking kind of even on the league stats as well. Shaping up with that Moltres against Zapdos. You can't handle that. Uniqueless pushing forward. Magikarp, pretty sweet counter to to Uniqlus. But now he's going to get him backed up probably to get that 101. It doesn't really matter, he doesn't need to. He's pulling it back. Yeah, he might want to pull it back and then I'd be going for the Grovile Evolve on Magikarp. Ooh, yes for the... Uh... Oh, killer, killer. That one extra chain level that he has makes the difference on the Hypersonic. Nice. Then he's gonna have to deal with the um, Resh Zek problem. Now he's on, he could hit 70 against this guy. Fly, ouch, that's nasty. He's got oh my God, he could have he could have knocked him out of the, com completely out of the duel, uh, but puts flame on him. Pulls it back, right, so. <sighs> yeah, get a uniqueness on it. 121 hyper beam. Yeah, see, yeah, I think I think the, the the great thing about this deck is probably that people aren't running. Some people aren't running tropical energy for their flying types to. Uh, it's flying grass types, right? Yeah. To s prevent the respins. A hyper beam ripping people up. Fifty two. Let's see evolving to Gyarados. One one three, nice. So I think that's got the up on his Moltres. And now he's starting to advance. Still got him on the hyper beam. Knocks him out. Will be his go next. Goes for Groval. Groval does have the ability to take him out with a double leaf blade. Oh wow, 20 quick attack, 
I think the 20 quick attack is bigger on Grovar than it is on the 30 40 attack. I don't know, is it slightly? Guess that evolve into a powerful, powerful Sceptile. Now he's less full, but he's still got the 40. You know, he could have hit this. If he hit the 70, then bosh, gone. A lot of times where he could have uh, took people like the jewel. Confuse Ray on Zapdos. That's nice. Yeah, get that point blocked. At this point, Estevani has very few options. Goes for the overdrive and pause. Reuniclus against Zapdos. Oh, guess that because that confuse hits it. I mean, getting a confuse on a Zapdos is pretty harsh anyway. It's a pretty hard thing to do. He's in a. You know, he's 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 pretty much done now. The backup that Jerry has now is just too too good. Nice. Ultra is in. I'd be looking to. It's kind of annoying because he wants this. Oh yeah, it takes out. He kind of wants it to be unlinked because then it can hit a fifty. Yeah, now he's got odds on the Mew. Oh no, he's, he's burnt, isn't he? So he's, he's minus one. So he's got a little, little chance of winning this. Yeah, he can't win this, can he? No. No. So he's gone, and it does pull another Reuniclus on, though. Oof. I mean, the rush was there. But his brain link is 52. That's, yeah, that, I mean, that could have been the decider if it was 50 or he had Psychic. He's done now. Um, he can attack Mold. He'd have to attack Moltres, then take Sceptile out, and he hits Roost. So, neutral. If he's got a hurdle jump, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> hurdle jump. <laughs> Look at this editing. <laughs> oh no, wait. All right, so he had hurdle jump, but he still didn't. <laughs> Nice, Crit critiquing his own play. Has to hit the fly and goes in for the win. That, that was always game over around that type of point. Never mind the hurdle jump. <laughs> so that's Black uh, Jerry Picard picks up a match, 1 0. And then the second match, do we see a change? Added tropical energy. Alright, interesting. Nice, so he's not going to have any trouble with the respins this time. Oh no, removed Reuniclus! Oh no, he didn't! <laughs> oh my god, this edit is awesome. Um, yes, yeah, so he's just, he's basically got a card. In, to be honest, Tropical Energy, even without any respinners on it, I like it anyway because it's just like a full heal, but it affects everyone and it doesn't, uh, it, but the only thing is it, is it does end your turn, so it does take a turn to do it. But I, I think it's like, even without the respins, I think Tropical Energy is a really good card for status effects. Because you can let your team, sometimes I'll let my whole team get status effect, so then they'll think they have the up. Bosh! All of them, you know, wake up at the same time and then can be really threatening them. So is that Neu Neubat? Wow, so he's he's potentially going for the Neubat Evolve. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah so you got to watch out for this, the Verazion Swap Spot. Uh, well, uh, Typhoon Slash. He's going to go for that Typhoon Slash and then Magic Out's out and he hits it, yeah. So a lot of people doing that with Verizon. It's a really good tactic. Uh, so he's pulled it off there and it's got Magic Arp off uh, with, without the Evolve. Tropical Energy being pulled. No, no, you don't want to see that. Uh, was that a cancel play? Did he accidentally press that? Ooh. This is a difficult matchup. Hits the dodge. If he'd have taken him out, he'd have been pretty vulnerable. I don't know if he's got gold block. And then he'd probably have pulled the Mew back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leafy on surround. Oh, no. <laughs> I love this, like, critique of your own blow, Jerry. It's like, that, that's, like, like, I do that, but, like, 
It'd be like there'd be too many things to do that for. Yeah, no, that that evolve is going to be so difficult, especially against Zapdos. But Whirlwind is great against white white attackers. Oh uh, yeah, because that could have dealt with that Zapdos threat straight away. That's risky. Get hit the dodge. Hit the dodge. Oh, he hits the set. Oh, yeah, Leaf Blade would have knocked him out anyway. It gets the evolve. Yeah, into a powerful septile. I quite like that evolve. I might actually switch it up and put him in. I just like having the uh, stealth hits straight off the bat. That is in real trouble here. He has to go for an ultra's attack. Uh, if he hits Typhoon Slash, he's lost. Gets game. Yeah. Quick games. Two in quick succession. And that got Jerry into the semi-finals. Team Shiny, whoop, whoop. Team Shiny in the semi-finals against Gary Oak, Team Badgers. Uh, well done. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Love it. What, what is with that face? Where did you get that picture from? I don't know where that's from. Oh, God. They were brilliant. Thank you, Jerry, for those highlights. They were awesome, as always. Uh, looking forward to your semi-finals so that takes us to the other side we had we had t team shiny Matthew Denier playing as well I think we have to go quite far back for that yeah so we had Matthew Denier against Poke team poker Fodders Ray and a 2-0 victory for Matthew Denier and we also had Fresher from team badges and uh, against Jamez from team Choctopus making it a team shiny, team badges, complete match off. So, if two badges could go through, two team shinies could go through, and or we could have one of each for the semi finals. Ooh. Wait, third, oh, yeah, there's also a third place matchup, just if you want to kind of. You can do that if you want. If you want to do a kind of whoever wins these. Go on to do the third place matchup. Well, that means we're a week away. You know, they're giving a week to end. If by the end of like four days you guys have completed matches and you want to do the, the final, absolutely fine with that. But we could have a Team Shiny, Team Shiny final. I'm I'm so proud of my Team Shiny players because like was it four got knocked out in the first round and these two have just kind of carried on like soldiered on through each round without us by the side and the other sides have just been demolished Team Pokefoto got really like they bossed the first round got demolished in the second round and then third round Matthew Denyer doing the killer blow knocking them out and that makes it Team Shani Matthew Denyer versus Team Badges Fresher good luck guys Team Shani Jerry Picard versus Gary Oak gonna be a really tough matchup Um let me know who you guys think is going to win. I, I, for me, I'm not going to say because I can't, I can't, I, I, my, my critique of what, what's going to go on, right? Matthew Denyer is a skilled player. I played him against him and he, he can play with verse, he's got, he's very versatile with different squads and he knows how to play. Like the Deoxys deck, he had that down. I think it's, he could still put some of those figures in and do well with them. He's got a great deck. I played him recently and he, he beat me, which was a really good game. Fresher, obviously I played him against him in the Psychic Badge and he's really skilled. I watch him play, I watched him on his channel, you can check out his channel. He has, he's probably uploaded the video about against Matthew Dunn, he may not have done, I don't know. But he's he's a really skilled player, he's really tactical, hard to break down when I played him. Uh, Jerry Picard, we all see Jerry Picard. He knows the mistakes he's made because he's highlighted them in a highlight video. And he's not going to make them in the final, Gary. You're not going to get the, the joy of that. Because Jerry Picard is just, is just, he's, you know, he's just, he's just baiting you into thinking, oh, he'll miss that bang. Then get this around. Gary Oak, uh, three, four, four, nine, was it? This guy is a skilled, skilled player, and he has a good deck. When I played him, it was really tense and difficult to play against him. Really good defensive play from him. You get the feeling when you're playing him that he's, he's thinking moves ahead. Which is what you gotta do to be good, but yeah, you're like really far ahead. Like sometimes I do, I don't consciously think ahead, but sometimes I do. Like I have in my mind where I'm going, and he just seemed to be able to counter some of those things, like predict what I was thinking a few moves ahead. So I I think that's gonna be a really tough match. But I'm I'm backing my boy Jerry Picard, and I'm backing my boy Matthew Denyer. 
hopefully you do well I'll be doing the highlights obviously of the semi-final results so just post them in screenshots and even if you don't win Joe Picard but obviously you won't right highlights real loving it that's all from me hopefully you've enjoyed it take care see you soon